Okay, so here, I got this off. I'm trying to find my hazard relay. I don't know why Kenworth and Peterbilt decide that they should make it a, a treasure hunt, but you have to... I'm not really sure that I should be doing this unsupervised. Jake? Dirk? Willie? another language follow L2764 to module one uh, it's this thing here so this is a speedometer and stuff and this is the, the other stuff I don't know why the switch. Any power to the switch. That's what Jake said. This switch right here. Where the heck is the friggin' heavy duty flasher like in all the other trucks? There's this module thing here. It's inside that. The turn signal one. You can hear it going tick, tick, tick. It's inside that. So that's probably only. Like, I don't know. What do you think? That looks expensive to you? Looks like a thousand bucks to me. You hear the ticking sound? Okay, I gotta get back to work. I can't be fooling around with this all day. Any Phillips screw? I don't have any batteries. Problem solved. Of all the electronics and all the relays and all the fuses and everything, that's how I fixed it. No, Jeff, this isn't what Jeff cut out of the truck. This is actually a jumper wire. Well, there's another one just like it inside, inside here, okay? So in a nutshell, there's about a billion wires in there and Jake and Willie kind of know what half a billion of them are so they stole power they found out that what was going on was it was power to the switch can't find a fuse the relay's fine some kind of weird deal going on now so in order to make my four ways work now i have to actually turn the key on but that's not a big deal because most of the time i use my four ways the keys on anyway so i'm happy about that so all this now has to be put together put all the screws back in the dash and that is a job that they have left me to i'm not sure if they have faith in me or they're just really busy <laughs> what could go wrong right you know i called up kenworth the experts right and asked him hey is the flasher and the turn signal the same in one and the same? Oh no, federally federal regulation state. It could be this. You know what? If you don't know, just say, I don't know. Well, that'd be a lot easier than giving me just a loaded line of BS. It's the same. I, I, I totally found out it's the same. I don't know. I guess that's just the way she works. And the last piece.
this piece just kind of sits on here. Kind of surprised me actually. It uh, probably won't go on nearly as easy as I took it off. Snaps on. Except on this side. I don't want to go back on it. I don't want to pull on too hard because you know that's how it's going to break. It seems kind of loose. Vibrate like a son of a gun now, you know it. It's all working. You guys know that I have the Kenworth with the Packard engine in it, the MX 13. So I just dropped a trailer and uh, I noticed that my brake lights on the tractor were on. It's like, well, that's weird. So I went around, checked my spike, whatever, and never thought about the foot pedal. And um, the lights went off, the way I went. Well, as I pull out, all of a sudden, I'm derating. I'm like, what the heck? I've got half power. It doesn't make sense, so I consult the, uh, the ever famous, famously useless diag <laughs> not diagnostic screen, no codes. Hmm. Okay, so I stop, pull over, get out, look in the back, lights are on again. Duh. Check the foot pedal. Foot pedal, you know, it's winter time, right? Maybe it got a little seized up. Pull the pedal up, full power again. So, it's probably something everybody already knows, but I thought I'd just throw that out there because instantly when something doesn't work right and you have a pack car engine, you're like, oh my God, what do I do now? And I hope that helps. Have a great day. degrees eight o'clock in the morning I know it might seem like I'm not really getting an early start but uh, they told me not to show up until after eight o'clock and judging how quick they move yesterday <laughs> there's no sense in getting there early but I've been here for 14 hours I can't lay down any longer I can't sleep any longer I can't watch any more movies I did do some editing though which is important because uh, I need to have a purpose in life. 
<laughs> so let's see what we got here. Panera bread. Another nice option at the uh, service plazas. Something that tastes not quite so processed. Nice bagels. Steak and cheese. They used to have some choices other than the soggy croissant, sausage, egg. It's about that thick from, uh, you know that place with the initials B. K. I had that not too long ago. I took one bite, threw it out, took a sip of coffee, threw it out, marched right over with my $11 to Starbucks so I could get at least a decent cup of coffee. Felt violated as I walked out to the truck. <laughs> but at least I had a good cup of coffee. I, I'm not a big Starbucks guy. I just don't like the, the pine cone infused uh, green leafy grass mocha chai coffee. It just I just want coffee like this. Dark roast. Panera bread. Except their lids suck. <laughs> but other than that, they're great. And thank you, Panera Bread, for this breakfast. And uh, even though you didn't sponsor me or pay me in any way, <laughs>